Kia ora. My name is Dr. Russell Wormsley. I'm a gastroenterologist from Auckland, New Zealand, and I'm here at the 14th Congress of ECHO in Copenhagen, where we're presenting our work on uh, the care of inflammatory bowel disease patients uh, using an app-based model. This is a non-inferiority randomized trial over 52 weeks uh, where we have one arm where the patients attend their, run their normal care in a face-to-face -face, uh, basis with their uh, gastroenterologist and that's compared with the other arm where the patients send in their uh, symptom scores using an app which we developed called IBD Smart and along with a faecal uh, calprotectin test done at, as a point of care app called IBD Doc developed by Bullman. Uh, we randomized patients uh, who uh, had attended clinic in the previous year at least uh, two times who uh, had uh, moderate disease or mild disease, weren't uh, so severe enough to require surgery or uh, it wasn't deemed that they would require surgery in the next uh, 52 weeks. The primary endpoints of the study were to show that uh, there was no difference in symptom scores and also quality of life uh, throughout the points of contact over 12 months. The, all patients were interviewed uh, and filled in IBDQ scores at the beginning and at 12 months, but in the uh, smartphone-based care, uh, they sent in their results at three monthly intervals. In the face-to-face -face arm, uh, appointments were made appropriately at uh, a minimum of three monthly. 107 patients were recruited and 100 completed the initial screening. 73 of those had Crohn's disease. 50 were recruited into the smartphone group and 50 into the conventional face-to-face -face group. 47 of the smartphone uh, group completed the uh, study and 49 in the face-to-face -face group. In the main results, as expected, there was a statistical uh, difference between the number of appointments, uh, both routine and uh, uh, emergent, in the face-to-face -face and the smartphone group. Uh, at any of the points of contact, there was no difference in the quality of life, and neither was there any difference in the symptom scores for the simple colitis activity index score, which we used for the colitis patients, or the self-completed Harvey Bradshaw index score, at the beginning and end. In the uh, HBI group, however, there was a slight statistical difference at six and nine months. As regarded adherence to the protocol in the app group, just over 50% completed all five points of contact uh, using the IBD Smart, and just over 30% completed all five points of contact using IBD Doc. In usability, 82% completed more than 50% of the IBD SMART uh, results and 72% uh, fulfilled greater than 50% of the IBD DOC results. The patient reported system usability score for IBD SMART was 82 and for IBD DOC was 72. 78% of gastroenterologists were somewhat comfortable or more so uh, in using the app-based care and 52% uh, suggested that they could actually replace the face-to-face -face consultation. Of interest was that 54% of gastroenterologists felt that in the app-based care there was still something that they missed in the consultation, compared with 10% uh, of them when they actually had a face-to-face -face, uh, encounter. In conclusion, we've shown that an app-based model of care using IBD Smart and IBD Doc uh, is safe and happy to replace the conventional face-to-face -face consultations over a period of 12 months.